as long as it doesn't want to go there. So you say the risk assets in emerging economies like Brazil and Asia and the bonds of the strongest developing economy should be should be looked at. Talk to us about how you're investing in Brazil and Asia then. Well, we're investing in, in, uh, in short-term Brazilian bonds under the recognition that if the uh, global economy slows down, that Brazil itself will have to lower interest rates, and that produces a, a price increase in terms of their bond market. You know, the Brazilian interest rate uh, uh, structure is, is basically one in which they have the highest real interest rates in the world, perhaps 6 to 7 percent real, and perhaps 9 to 10 percent in nominal terms. And to the extent that Brazil slows down and the rest the world slows down, then they have to lower interest rates as well. So that's a that's a safe haven from the standpoint of higher bond prices, and they also have a an attractive balance sheet. They have uh, perhaps close to a trillion dollars worth of uh, of dollar reserves, and they have a balance sheet which is much cleaner than most of the developed countries.